So I took a bit of a breather, I did some training just to check how to play the game. I rested so that our hero would be uh, healed. And I guess we can leave now. Take a quick look at the map, I don't think we really missed anything. You can click on individual areas and it gives you a little bit of the lore for the story. It's quite interesting stuff, but uh, I'm sure it'll be revealed to us as the story continues. It doesn't seem like the sort of thing where you need to know exactly what's going to happen. Neon sign over this place, so I guess this is going to be a village or something. Let's see. Everything's black. Oh, we're marching again. There's going to be some dramatic scene. Caravan's a lot bigger. Now, I was, I was doing the training, and one of the things it says is that um, because of the way the turn times uh, are organised, so you take turns, sometimes it's better to leave like a really weak enemy alive with like one strength, just so they take up one of the enemy's turns. So that's something I'm going to try and consider. That's a lot of Val for some missing cattle. <laughs> I guess he's lost some cows. Some word of strand about cattle, didn't expect an army. He suddenly realises that it's, we're not here on his behalf. Do you know many men who can ho hoist a whole cow by themselves? Hmm. Is a scaffling like a half uh, giant or something? I think they're just bandits. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like there's fighting apparently. Oh dear. Is the prince in trouble? Oh dear. It's a pit to fight with some peasants or something. Maybe he found a milkmaid who he liked the look of. A what? Okay, these don't look like um peasants or milkmaids. These are like giant robots with fifteen strength. Okay, where are my allies? So I can't see anyone. Waypoint? Why do we want to move towards this giant? Because isn't he just going to beat us to death? Oh well. <laughs> I guess the young prince is about to die. Spearman can attack diagonally and two tiles away. Wow. I, he looks a lot stronger than I am. I have to say, he can kill me in one hit, I think. Damn. Ten percent chance. For each point the enemy has armor higher than our strength, they have a chance of blocking. Oh dear. This is probably not even going to work. We're dead. <laughs> We're actually going to get killed by this giant because it's on automatic mode. I would just run away if it was my, my option. From here on out you'll fail catastrophically if you don't break armour, my oh dear. He's about to kill us. The prince is dead, fantastic. And we're up against some giant beast. Okay, let's not panic. Well okay, I, f I do feel a bit like panicking. How strong are these? These are beatable. But the prince is, well he's probably just injured. So which, this is our defence guy, so it might be better to have him on the top. Have double handed sword guy on the bottom, and this guy can hit here in the middle. So he has a special ability which does 100% um, chance to hit, plus 1 strength, plus 1 break to target. How much damage do we do to his armour? 2. Uh, he can use his weapon to summon an ally. Oh my god. So these are, these are dredge. Okay. These are the famous dredge. So let's hit him and try and take out his armour this turn. Dredge Grunt. Okay. We're in a patch of trouble. Not enough to panic yet, but it's not good. I don't think we can attack him just yet. So we can recharge, I guess, maybe. At least they move quite slowly, these giant robot beasts. Okay, we're gonna come in here. We're gonna try and plant some uh, plant some damage on this guy. Yeah, I want to attack this guy. We could do six damage to him to bring down his strength, which is probably worth it at the moment. He still has ten strength, which is a lot. 
Oh, I only just healed this guy. He's getting beaten up. So we can do two damage to his armor, or three damage to him. If we do three damage, the thing is, this guy can summon more enemies. So I think we want to kill him first. So we bring him down by two. I think we've got full chance of hitting at the moment. At least it brings down his uh, his strength. So if we can hit him, we hit him for five, half health. We're gonna have to suffer some hits from the little men, unfortunately. Oh, they actually do a lot of damage. That could be a problem. What does bringing the pain do? Plus one damage to target. Or we can only do one damage at the moment, Tim. That is not ideal. Okay, we'll try the bringing the pain ability. Oh dear. Okay. We can only do one damage to him at the moment. We could do damage to both of them with Tempest, so I think that might be worth it. Just to bring down his strength, I don't want him to instant kill everyone. Oh, he's going to run away and summon something. Oh my god. What does he get? I think we have to run after him, because I don't, I don't really want him to summon some giant thing. And we can kill him. We're saved. Whenever an enemy falls in battle, one willpower star is added to your horn. Oh, let's think at the top. Using the horn, give one willpower to an active ally. Do we need one willpower? Can't we just hit this guy? So he has quite a bit of armor compared to us. Well, they have. Well, we have quite a bit of armor actually. Maybe I should damage his strength so he can't hit as hard. Yeah, I think that worked. So this guy... I guess we just want to break a bit of his armor. It's going to hit me quite a bit of damage here though. Okay, we can do a lot of damage to this guy here. Oh, actually, we can use our horn to let us kill him. That's probably a good idea. There we go. For once I'm doing something effectively. This guy's just getting beaten up. But we can kill him now. Let's do it. Oh yeah. So we defeated these robots. That's pretty good. Didn't really expect us to run into like the big bad so early on. So Luden charged into combat. He was trying to fight a shot in between the plates really ineffectively. He is just only a little human being, not a giant. Give him a break. They're <laughs> just there. Vognir lies face down. Okay, so the future Vile King is dead. That's probably not good. Vognir's dead, yeah. That's uh, some keen insight from our team here. So we have to break armor, but I think we sort of gathered that that was going to be required in future. Okay, so we're heading. Are we heading towards Iron Fort first? What? Okay, we're switching to another person. All right. Okay. I did say that we would play through from a few different perspectives. <laughs> this looks hilarious. Where did that thing come from? Shh, they look sort of like Aztec stone giants. She thinks that it saw us, which would be bad. I guess she, they're. We're going to be a bit more ranged with this team. They're going to teach us how to do ranged combat. Which might be complicated. If we can move and shoot, I guess we could. Uh, although the maps are generally quite small. Deployment happens before battle. Move them anywhere within the blue squares. We'll keep our guys back. Which one's furthest away? Well, having the archers apart hopefully will help. Well, they both have bows, so I assume they both can play as archers, but maybe not. Careful, don't get too close. Yeah, I did sort of gather that. Or maybe I should have kept them together, because I didn't know they had this ability. 
Does one armor damage and all eyes within range will automatically attack the target? Are we in range? Maybe we can only mark at short range. We have a bow. Why can't we shoot? Okay. They, we have range. A range of five, which isn't great. So I guess you want to move forwards. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I think we might get caned here. Okay, we can't mark him still. We can't shoot him. So I guess we just have to wait. He's a starving dredge, that must make him a bit weaker. Okay, I think he's actually going to be able to hit us next turn, which is not ideal. She's quite weak as well, I'm a bit concerned. Alright, well, let's not panic. We'll just thread in the needle. It's all units between the archer and the target in a straight line. Plus one armor damage. Pity I can't really use that. Um, is he just out of range? I've chosen like the worst possible starting location, haven't I? Damn. Okay, we're gonna lose one of our archers right away. So what we'll do is the classic archer thing of just uh, fleeing in terror. Is he still not in range? It seems to be impossible to shoot these guys. I'm just being incredibly cowardly. Shall we thread the needle on this guy? Guess he might as well. <laughs> Tiny bit of damage. He's probably going to kill her now though. Okay, he only did one. It's not as bad as I was expecting. Let's try and get a bit closer. He okay, has to be right next to mark him, unfortunately. We can go for his armor though, right now. Which I think we need to do. He's taking a lot of damage. We can keep moving away, I think, and then shooting. Let's try and finish off his armor, and then the other archer might be able to kill him. He's determined to kill this woman, unfortunately. Poor her, just getting beaten to death. We can do seven damage now, so it was all worth it. There we go. Whew, that was, um, yeah. I'm glad we won. Largely, uh, you know, because it's a tutorial. Was that a dredge? Yes, it was. She's going to be fine. When the dredge attacked your cart and the yacht bolted, it spilled most supplies. We need to get that food. If we hurry, we can gather them before more dredge might appear. That's probably the best option. We have to try because uh, otherwise we're going to uh, starve to death. That's that's what I'm imagining anyway. I mean, it doesn't give you any real idea. Oh, there we go. We managed to get uh, get some food before the dredge arrive. The more people in the caravan, the faster supplies will diminish. Yeah, that makes sense. People start to die from starvation. Okay, we need to work on that. Most towns will have supplies to sell as well as a few items. Okay. But how will we get money? I'm not entirely sure. We're marching towards... Skogra. We have no people in our party. We have normal morale. We have 13 mora uh, renown. Well, two archers took out one uh, dredge. I guess it was starving, though, so it probably means it was a rubbish one. I guess human soldiers must be cheaper than the giants. You must expect so. I think it was worth getting the food. Doesn't seem to have had any real negative consequences. I thought we might end up having to fight them again. And I guess it was an option, we could have fought them. I don't know if we'd be able to win though. Against one starving one, we have a pretty good chance, but... More than that, 
Uh, they would overpower our archers quite fast, I think. We use the classic strategy with archers of uh, s spreading out and uh, skirmishing them to death. Here we go. Takes a long time, these clips, with not much happening. Just watch some guy wandering along. There's a house. Got a little banner. Feel free to skip these, I mean, seriously. Take forever. Ivor! The enormous vial in question towers over the men in the training fields. So we're Hunt's master, which we probably could have guessed already. Dredge you're everywhere, says our girl. How did he get through Greyhorn? I don't know. Apparently it's a fort. <laughs> okay, so they're coming, and we're going to have to defend it. Ivor turns one of the older boys into a group of fighters. Take the girl to the Great Hall, tell Jason what's happening. She can fight. I think we should keep her. Oh, maybe, maybe they, they've got the romance. Okay. Uh, I, I sort of would want to keep her here, but then maybe she'll get beaten up, so we should send her away. Yeah, let's keep her. She can be a warrior. Okay, I might have just got them both killed. I sort of misunderstood. I thought it meant, sort of meant that she could uh, stay and he could go and get help. Which I assume is what the plan was, but maybe not. I thought there was, there was about to be a fight. I can, see the, I can see the bad guys here. Oh, we have to click on the houses, I see. The dredge are gathering in number. You hear misplaced laughter nearby. Past a couple of corpses, a man is single-handedly holding back four dredge with a battered spear. Trigivy. He's a madman. But you can hold a spear in the right direction, that's quite handy. Got to fight our way out. Cool. Yeah, I sort of gathered that. So, I think El he'll be in melee. I want her to go last, I think. This guy sounds like he's pretty solid. We have a, a melee guy in between just in case we need to change our move. I think you get him for pre-ordering, I'm not sure. Though it seems a bit unfair if you get an extra guy. Though I guess maybe the fight isn't that hard. It is the beginning of the game. Let's see what we're up against. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so what is it? One of the big super ones. Oh, this one's different. Stone Guard. Adjacent Adjacent dredge also take damage when hit for three armor or more. Kindle a shield sign causes. Okay, so dredge when they're standing next to each other actually take more damage. It's a bit of a surprise. So what's his ability? He can battering ram knock adjacent up to four tiles for one armor damage. I think maybe oh, is this where we choose where they start. Okay, that's fine. So we'll do. I think we need to line her up so she can use her special ability if possible. Okay, I think that might work. We're ready. The battle begins. The one with the shield won't lie down. I guess he's just been beating him with a spear. Oh, this guy thinks he can handle him. He's a tough guy. Who's going to move first? The shield one, the front one, the back right one, and the one furthest away. Okay. So we should probably decrease his strength first. I know it says armor should be gone for, but we need to make sure that he does limited damage. So we can step in here. So we could do two damage or four damage. Well, he's going to move next. So it might be good to reduce him fully down just so he only does one damage with each hit. And we have a chance of deflecting. Well, I, 
thought we'd have a chance deflecting. Now then, we could shoot if we're in range. Might be worth it on the big one. I think this guy's moving next though, so maybe we need to limit him a little. We'll try and reduce his armor. Help us win the fight in the long run. It's going to do a bit of damage here, unfortunately. Our spear guy is going to get beaten to death, isn't he? That could be a problem. Does he have any special ability? Stone wall. So that's like the basic defensive ability. So we can hit this guy for three or four. Might as well go for the four at the moment. Just so I'm keeping that one alive, just so it takes up another one of their moves, hopefully. That's the idea anyway. Shall we thread the needle? Might as well. Oh, it hits our own guys. I didn't realise that. <laughs> Critical error. Are they going to kill our spearmen? Okay, we need to weaken the big guy. If we can. There we go, we sent him back. He only suffered one damage, but we did send him back. We're badly hurt here. So what's our best option? What's this special? The old impale. Okay. So we can move to here. Use impale on this guy. Or maybe we can't. I guess, yeah, if we get taken out, at least it will save us. Um, might as well use our initiative as well. Save us an initiative move. So. We need to start weakening this guy. Soon. We could probably take out this guy, yeah. For nine, but we might get killed if we do that. Yes, we'll pull back, take out that guy. Gives us an extra initiative in the future. This guy's going to get completely battered. We need him really to defeat the huge guy. Could move in our little man just to slow him down. I'm thinking we will do that. He's just gonna slaughter this guy. Oh, he's gonna kill our spearman actually. Alas. Move back and weaken this guy just a little bit more. He's got a huge amount of armor, it's ridiculous. And the big guy's gonna move, but he can't get to this one. Could get rid of the armor on the back one, I guess. Then hopefully, we can take both these guys out. Who's going to move next? The, this giant one's going to move next. We need to do something to slow him down. <laughs> oh my god. I think he just obliterated our armor. <laughs> which is not ideal. But we can do 8 damage to this guy now. Which is pretty good. Not quite. She, I was going to try and line them up, but she can't quite do it. Try 
Try and get rid of more of his armor. He's gonna hit us. Okay, we can we can survive this, I think. We need to move down to assist our friend. So we could use up the star, so let's do four. He's trying to keep his health and strength down. Oh, he's going to kill that guy. Damn. Okay, we're going to move to here. What can we do? Two damage. Hmm. I think it's worth it. This guy's taking a lot of hits. And this guy's almost dead as well. We can hit this guy for two, or we can kill the other guy. Probably want to get rid of the big guy's armor. I know this little man might go down, but you know, he was brave. Brave but foolish. She can only do two damage to him, unfortunately. He's going to go next, so I want to try and save the little man. Oh god, he's got no armor left. Okay, who's going to go next? Just want to move here and kill this guy. Just punch him. They all have low armor. I think we've won this now. Let's kill the big guy. Oh, we're taking a hammering here. Oh, look, he's even going to get a kill. I underestimated him. Wow, we won that fight pretty well, I think. That went pretty well. We lost the spear guy. Yeah, okay. Maybe it wasn't that good. Whew, we did it.